In this video, we're going to talk about synovial joints, the structures of the synovial joint, and how they help prevent injury. So, going through this, we're going to look at different images, but the first thing we must do is talk about the two different types of joint in the body that you need to know. Okay, so we have hinge joints, which are at our elbow, our knee, and our ankle. We also have ball and socket joints at our hip and our shoulder. Okay, so they're the two different types of joints. When we talk about a synovial joint, we are talking about these joints, so our elbow, our knee, our ankle, our hip, and our shoulder. Now, different parts of the synovial joint. We're going to go through these one at a time. Again, it's good for you to have an image for this, and um, so you can label it as we go through. So this is the image we're going to be using, and I'm going to highlight each part as we go through one at a time. Firstly, red circle there, which are the two grey bits, which I'm going to hover over here, which are on the ends of the bones. Yeah. We imagine this is the knee, so this is the femur bone here, and this is the tibia bone here. On the ends of the bones there are the cartilage, okay, the grey bits here. Now, what the cartilage does is it reduces friction and it acts as a shock absorber, okay? So that's where it prevents injury by reducing the friction so we don't have much pain. And then when we're running, doing any kind of movement, our knees obviously go through quite a lot of impact. So the cartilage, acts as a shock, shock absorber. Next, we are looking at the blue fluid here. And with this blue fluid, that is the synovial fluid. What the role of this is, is to lubricate the joint. So it allows it to move freely without any pain. Next, we have the purple bits here, okay? What these are, they surround the synovial fluid and they are the synovial membrane. Now, the synovial membrane's role is to produce synovial fluid. Next, we have this red attachment going from the femur all the way down to the tibia here. That is the ligament. Okay, and what ligaments do is they stabilize the joint and they join bone to bone. So they attach two bones together, stabilizing the joint to keep it nice and strong and steady. Next, we have this blue fluid filled sac here. That is called the bursa. And this, as I said, is a fluid filled sac, which again prevents friction. So a lot of the role of these um, structures within a synovial joint is to prevent friction. Next, we have this light pink part here, all the way down to here, and then same on the other side. That is known as the joint capsule. Now, with this, it connects bones, ligaments, and cartilage, and it stores synovial fluid. So it is just crucial to the whole structure of a synovial joint. Now, we've obviously got the points that you need to know. What I'm going to do now is this is a knee. We're going to go through these and try and you're going to try and identify them as we go through. So I want you to look at these now and write down. This is number one. This is number two. Number three. Number four. Number five number six, and number seven. Okay, and we're going to go through and label these now. So this is a knee joint. So first one is our quadricep. So this is our main quadricep muscle. Second is the patella. So number two was the patella. Number three, on the end of our bone here, is the cartilage. Number four, the purple bit going all the way around in the middle here is the synovial fluid. Number five, the bone underneath is the tibia. Number six, the green bits here, here and here, but I've only um, put an arrow to one, is the synovial membrane, which produces that synovial fluid, which is the purple bit here. And then finally, number seven, we have a femur, okay? So see how many of them you got right? This is the sort of thing you would have to do in the exam is label different parts of the synovial joint and explain their function.